Today, we're not going to stay in this space. Today, we're going into outer space. empty area? Well, that's the space inside your mouth. There are many other kinds of space, too. Hold your hand up like this. Now spread your fingers out. See? There is space between your fingers. This whole room is full of space. And you're in it. The room is in a space called your house. Your house is in a space called your block. Your block is in a space called your city. Your city is in a space called your land. The land is in a space called the Earth. And the Earth is in a space around the sun. That space is called the solar system. The Earth is a planet in the space of our solar system. That's right, the Earth is a planet. Did you know you live on a planet? Yeah, you're an Earth person. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Okay, time for some space travel. You're going to need a space belt. Use a belt from your room. And if you've got a backpack, put that on too. We'll pretend that's your power pack, okay? Better go get them. Stop the tape and I'll wait till you get back. all set? Let's visit our solar system. First stop, the moon. Count down to blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Isn't this 
great? All the way to the moon. Watch out when we land, though. The moon is covered with tiny little balls of dust, and it's really slippery. Wow. Look at this. No clouds, no water, and no air. Better turn on your oxygen. And look at the Earth. We can use our space binoculars. Ooh. You can make a pair of space binoculars for yourself out of toilet paper tubes and tape. Just connect the tubes together with the tape right where they meet. Then decorate it so it looks just the way you like it. Boy, look at the Earth from here. It's all blue and shiny. You can sure see why people call it the watery planet. Stand up and jump as high as you can. Did you know that on the moon you could jump right over your dad? That's because there is much less gravity on the moon. Gravity is what keeps things on the ground back on Earth. Without it, everything would be floating around all over the place. Well, where do you want to go next? Let's look at the map. That's what your mom and dad do when they want to know where to go. This is a map of the whole solar system. Here we are on Earth's moon. And the sun is here in the middle. Our sun is really a star that is very close to us. It gives off heat and light. Just what we need to see and stay warm. How old are you? Hold up your fingers. Four, three, I see somebody who is five. Uh-huh, six, there's even a seven-year-old. Do you know how old the sun is? Can you hold up lots of fingers? This many? Well, the sun's much older than that. This many? Even more than that. In fact, if you did this from the time you got up in the morning until you went to bed at night without stopping for lunch or dinner, you still wouldn't reach how old the sun is. Our star is about four and a half billion years old. It's a middle-aged yellow star. When it gets a lot older, it will shine with a giant red light. And when it gets even older, it will be a tiny white dwarf star, no longer big enough to keep us warm. By then, people will know how to travel to other solar systems and live on new planets. But that won't happen until a long time after you're a grandparent. Speaking of planets, let's use our space belts and visit all the planets in our solar system.
by Mercury. Hot. In the daytime, Mercury is hotter than the oven is when your mom bakes cookies. But at night, when it faces away from the sun, it gets colder than a popsicle in the freezer. Boo! Mercury is only a little bigger than our moon. And like the moon, it has no water, no rain, and no air. It also has lots of holes in the ground. Whoops! <laughs> These holes are called craters. Craters are made by rocks from space crashing into the planet. Hey, know what you can do? You can make craters. First, roll out some clay on a piece of cardboard. Then take cups and rocks and push them into the clay to make holes that look like craters. Be sure to paint the whole thing with glue and let it dry if you want to save it. Scientists get tired of spelling the names of planets, so you know what they do? They draw symbols or little pictures that stand for the name. Want to draw the symbol for Mercury with me? Just draw with your finger. It's got a scoop like this, and then a circle underneath, and a plus under that. There! Time to visit planet number two. Next up, Venus. Space belts ready? Countdown to blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Gotta get away from fast, fast Mercury. Let's go see the planet Venus. The solar. And you know what else it's got? Thunderstorms! And you know what else? A day on Venus lasts half a year, and night lasts another half a year. How long do you think it would take to get ready for bed? The symbol for Venus is simple. It's a round circle with a plus underneath. What an unfriendly place! Let's go somewhere we know. Next stop, planet Earth. Count down to blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. that you are an Earth person? You're sitting on solid ground now, but most of your planet is made up of water. Earth is the watery planet, and all around it, like a colorless blanket, is the wonderful air we breathe. Do you ever put a blanket around yourself when you're cold? Ooh, this is my space blanket. Well, that's what air is like around the Earth. A blanket to keep in the sun's heat at night so the oceans don't freeze when one side spins away from the sun. Want to draw the symbol for Earth with me? This time it's our friend the circle with a big plus in the middle. Ready for more adventure? Let's go to Mars! Countdown to blast off! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Earth is beautiful, but we like adventure now. Let's go see the planet Mars. The solar system's ours to explore. Let's go have some fun. Mars is the red planet. Its soil has lots of rust in it, like an old nail. That's what gives it its red color. Did you ever eat a baked potato? Well, 
Mars has two moons, and they're both shaped like baked potatoes. Bet they would taste yucky, though. Mars is covered with channels that look like old riverbeds, and it has the biggest mountain of any planet in our solar system, called Olympus Mons. Just for fun, take all your red and orange crayons and markers and color a paper plate to look like Mars so you can remember your trip here. This is the symbol for Mars, another big circle with an arrow near the top. Phew! It's really getting windy here. Hang on to your gear. Check your wind instrument. Mine says it's about 300 miles per hour. Let's check our map for the next planet. Time to blast off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get out of here. The red rocky planet Mars is pretty spectacular, but let's go see the asteroids. Solar systems, ours to explore. Let's go have some fun. Hey, this isn't a planet, is it? It's just a bunch of rocks. Thousands of them orbiting the sun. Some are as tiny as pieces of sand, and some are as big as mountains. Watch out for that one. Some are pear-shaped, and some are just rough chunks. The biggest of these rocks are called planetoids. And the biggest one of those is called Ceres. You know, someday people will come out to these asteroids or to the moon and to the planets in the solar system to live and work. What do you think that would be like? sometimes bump into each other. And when they do, they crash into pieces and fly in all directions. Some of these broken pieces called meteoroids zoom around the Earth. When they enter our air, they sometimes burn up in a streak of light we call a meteor. Some people call them falling stars. But they should really call them falling rocks. The Earth gets heavier every day with all these rocks. Hey! Know what you could do for fun? Glue all sizes and shapes of rocks to a piece of cardboard and make a picture of asteroids bumping. Ready to head on to Jupiter? Space belts ready. Countdown to blast off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Jupiter. Solar systems, ours to explore. Let's go have some fun. Jupiter is the king of all planets because it's the largest. Around it is one great flat ring of dust like a loose belt. It has a huge red spot on it that swirls around like a giant whirlpool. The red spot is so big that three of our Earths would fit into it. 
But there's no place to land here. No ground, just gas. Well, Jupiter has 17 moons. Let's check out some of those. This moon is called Io. It's covered with erupting volcanoes. Whoa, can't land here. Here's the biggest moon in the solar system called Ganymede. Let's land on that one. It's covered with ice. Let's pretend we're ice skating. And look at the size of this moon. It's larger than the planet Mercury. Let's make a model of the moon Ganymede. Ask your mom or dad if you can fill a small balloon with water and add a little food coloring and freeze it. Then, take off the balloon and pretend you have the moon Ganymede. Ooh, it's cold. Later, you can watch it melt in a dish of warm water or on your sidewalk. Want to try a matching game? See if you can match up these planets. Which of these planets on top looks like this one? Did you pick this one? You're right! That's Venus. How about this one? Right! That's the Earth. Okay, how about this last one? Right again! That's Jupiter. The symbol for Jupiter is shaped like a big number two with a little line through the tail. Let's look for the next planet with our space binoculars. Wow! Another gas planet! Beautiful Saturn is like a jewel in the sky. It has more than a thousand rings around it. Hey, where would you wear a thousand rings if you had them? Show me the size of a piece of salt. A mouse? A dog? A man? A truck? Some pieces of Saturn's rings are as small as salt, and some are as big as trucks. Wow! I saw lightning flashes in those rings. Saturn has more rings than any other planet. Here's another idea you can do. Trace a plate on a piece of paper and pretend it's Saturn. Then trace coins and bowls and cups around it. Color these the most wonderful colors you have to remind you of the planet Saturn and its moons. The symbol for Saturn is a crazy one. It looks like this. Uranus is the next planet. Stand by your space belt. Count down to last off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, last This planet is tipped. Better be careful walking around here. Uranus is a bright blue-green color with 10 very thin dark rings plus at least 15 moons. But you know what? One year on Uranus is 84 Earth years long. So you'd be a grandparent by the time you were one year old. How would you like having to wait 84 years between birthdays? Uh-uh. If you have a hula hoop, you can hold it so it's tipped and pretend that you are the planet Uranus orbiting the sun. Try it. Don't get dizzy. Oh. Here's the symbol for Uranus. Let's draw it together. Got your drawing finger ready? Okay, it's a circle like this with an arrow on its side and a big dot in the middle. Like so. Let's try another game. Do you remember these symbols? Do you remember which planets they stand for? Okay, now which one is the symbol for Uranus? Right! Which one is the symbol for Earth? Good! Which one is the symbol for Venus? 
tried again. That's great. Okay. Neptune is the next planet. It's a long way off, so adjust your power pack and push the fast speed button. Count down to blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Uranus is just a bit and days too long on it. Let's go see the planet Neptune. A shower of fish and it's ours to explore. Let's go here for fun. Well, here we are on Neptune. Can you do this? Well, Neptune has at least two moons, and they go in opposite directions like that. Do you think they'll ever crash into each other? Here's something you can do at home. Get some watercolors and paint them on a rock, and pretend it's from a different planet like Neptune. Now this planet symbol is different. Look at that. Count down to blast off. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Neptune's all big and blue, but how about me and you? Let's go see the planet Pluto. The solar system's ours to explore. Let's go have some fun! It's cold here. Push your temperature control button for heat. That's because Pluto is the farthest away from the sun. This is the coldest planet in the whole solar system. Ooh. And it's the smallest planet, too. It's even smaller than our moon. And yet, it has a teeny tiny moon of its own. Can you make a circle like this? Now squash it a little. That's an oval shape. Pluto is the only one of the planets to have an oval-shaped orbit. All the rest are circles. The symbol for Pluto looks like a letter P, with a line on the bottom like a little foot. There are so many other wonderful things in space out beyond our solar system. But we're going to have to wait till next time to show you. Right now, We've got to get back to good old Earth. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! It's so tiny and we're tired of wandering. Let's go back to Earth. The solar system's ours to explore. And let's go have some fun. Your space probe on its way to outer space. Do you think it will find space people in a different solar system? There's the good old space shuttle. I bet there's an astronaut on board. When you grow up, would you like to be an astronaut? Get ready for landing. We're almost home. that an amazing adventure? There's so much more to see and explore in our solar system. Maybe someday you will be an astronaut and go out into space and do just that. You never know. See if you can remember which one of these is the asteroid belt. The rocks, that's right. Which one is Mars? The red planet. And which one is Uranus? The one that's tipped, that's great. 